my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today we celebrate the baptism of the Lord. We read from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 7 to 11. We read as follows. John said, After me comes he who is mightier than I, the tongue of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens opened and the Spirit descending upon him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, Thou art my beloved Son, with thee I am well pleased. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord was baptized, explains in Ambrose of Milan, not to be cleansed himself, but to cleanse the waters, so that those waters might have the power of baptism. During his ascension, he told his disciples to go and baptize all people, and the disciples did exactly that. Saints have greatly valued this sacrament, the sacrament of baptism. Saint Vincent Ferrer always celebrated the anniversary of his baptism and often went to kiss the baptismal font in the church of Saint Stephen in Valencia. After many years of absence, Saint Francis Solano went back to his hometown. Before doing anything else, he knelt and rested his forehead on the font of the church where he was baptized and sang the creed. When St. Jews Maria found out that they were discarding the font where he was baptized, he arranged for it to be brought to his chapel and kissed it every time he passed by it. My dear brothers and sisters, this may be an awkward question to you, but let us reflect. Do you know the date of your baptism? A young woman came to see the parish priest to discuss what was needed for her conversion to the Catholic Church. She explained that she had been reading the gospel, fell in love with Jesus and wanted to be a Catholic. The priest was surprised that no one had instructed her or talked to her about her faith. No one has taught you anything about the faith? asked the astonished priest. That's strange. You might have had a bit of guidance from someone. The girl explained, No one, Father. Nobody since I was baptized as a baby. But you were baptized, the priest interrupted her, and with a smile he added, I rest my case. Of course, someone had been helping her. The baptism made her a temple of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit had been helping her for many years from inside, from within. My dear brothers and sisters, do we realize the power of our baptism? Do we understand that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit is been our help all through our life? Mary, our mother, May we never forget to give thanks to God for our baptism and truly value it as the saints did. Amen.